next topic is accounts receivable. Accounts receivable transactions can be entered in a number of different ways. We are going to learn how to enter quotes and how to convert them into sales orders and sales invoices, how to create invoices, how to enter receipts, and how to create prepayments. Customers or prospects often request pricing information about goods or services that a company sells. Since they are not receiving any products or services, they are provided with a quote. Quotes do not affect the general ledger. Quotes can be converted to sales orders or to sales invoices at any time. To enter a quote, select Quotes and Proposals from the Customers and Sales Navigation Center. By default, the good through date is set one month past the quote date. If necessary, you can enter a different date. If you plan to print a quote, leave the quote number field blank. You'll enter it during the print routine. If this quote was manually written, enter the quote number. The unit price displays the sales price of the item selected. If the item ordered is not tracked through inventory, enter a sales price here. For items tracked through inventory, you can select a different sales price from the drop-down list. We will now open an existing quote to demonstrate how to convert it to a sales order or a sales invoice. After a customer accepts a quote, it can be converted to a sales order or a sales invoice simply by clicking the Convert button. Next, to enter a sales order, select Sales Orders from the Customers and Sales Navigation Center. Sales orders are used when a customer agrees to purchase items or services that are not shipped immediately. The Sales Orders window allows partial orders to be shipped and back orders to be tracked. In the Sales Order window, the Sales Order Number field displays the sales order number assigned by Peachtree. This number can be changed, but you cannot post duplicate sales order numbers. This field will be blank for the first sales order entered. Select the Close Sales Order checkbox to manually close a sales order. A sales order is automatically closed after all items are shipped. Next, we will create a sales invoice. To enter invoices, select Sales Invoicing from the Customers and Sales Navigation Center. In addition to creating invoices and bills for customers, the Sales Invoicing window is also used to invoice customers for items that were entered on sales orders. Unlike quotes and sales orders, invoices do update the general ledger. When a customer with open sales orders is selected, the Apply to Sales Order Number tab appears. Select a sales order being filled from the Apply to Sales Order Number drop-down list. All open sales orders for the selected customer are listed here. The Remaining field displays the number of items that remain outstanding on the sales order. This field cannot be changed on this window. Enter the quantity that will be shipped to the customer in the Shipped field. This is also the number of items for which the customer will be invoiced. The Amount field displays the value of the shipped quantity times the unit price. When shipping an item not tracked in inventory, enter the total price of the item in this field. The Apply to Sales tab is used to record customer invoices without a sales order on file. Next, to enter customer payments, select Receive Money from the Customers and Sales Navigation Center. When customers pay invoices and bills, the amount they pay is entered on the Receipts window. Cash sales can be entered on this window if a customer does not require a printed invoice. When a customer ID is entered, all unpaid sales invoices appear. You can enter payments for the entire amount or partial amounts. Credit memos and prepayments may also be applied to invoices on this window. Select the Apply to Revenues tab to enter receipts for items that are not associated with invoices. When a customer without open invoices is selected, this tab automatically appears. Select the Prepayment checkbox to enter a deposit from a customer. After a prepayment has been posted, it can be applied to one or more of the customer's outstanding invoices from the Apply to Invoices tab. 
The GL account field displays the account setup for the item selected. If necessary, enter a different account here. If you are a subscriber to Peachtree's credit card service, click the Process Credit Card button to swipe or enter the customer's credit card information. Select the Apply to Invoices tab to receive payments against customer invoices. The Discount field displays the amount of the discount if the invoice qualifies for one. If necessary, the amount in this field can be changed. A discount amount cannot be entered for a partially paid invoice. Enter the amount to apply to the invoice into the Amount Paid field. When you enter an amount, the Pay checkbox will be selected automatically. Select the Pay checkbox to pay the invoice in full. Accounts Receivable Reports provide information about your customers and their associated transactions. To preview or print these reports, select View All Customer and Sales Reports from the Customers and Sales Navigation Center. The Aged Receivables Report shows open unpaid invoices or unapplied credits by customer listed in the appropriate aging column as of the selected date. This report helps to resolve questions regarding individual customer activity and balances and is useful in determining customer bad debt so that the proper year-end adjustments can be made. The Cash Receipts Journal lists cash deposits with related general ledger distributions for a selected date range. This displays individual amounts that make up a deposit and other information the bank statement does not usually provide. This can be useful for verifying general ledger postings and tracking cash deposits. The customer list lists the name, address, telephone number, and resale number of each customer. You can add additional information to this report. This report may be useful as a customer telephone list. The Invoice Register chronologically lists all invoices and their amounts for a selected date range. This report is useful for keeping track of outstanding invoices. The Sales Journal lists all sales invoices for the selected date range with related general ledger distributions. This can be useful for reconciling sales and for verifying postings. In addition to the reports shown here, there are several invoice forms that are available for different purposes. These invoice forms can be found in the Invoices Packing Slips group, and each form can be customized with your choice of fields, styles, and logos.